what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox news video. Today we're proud to announce that LaunchBox 11.16 has been released with some fixes, improvements, and some awesome new features. In this video we're going to go over a couple fixes, improvements, and then we're going to move right into the new features because this is something that I personally really love. It was removed from LaunchBox a while ago, but uh, some new development has gone on, and it's coming back with 11.16, and that's the addition of LaunchBox for Android. It is back with some awesome new features and views for Android. But before we move over there, let's go ahead and take a look at the new improvements with 11.16. Major performance improvements, loading XML data on startup. Now this is going to result in faster loading times, whether it be for big box or launch box. And when you have a ton of games, loading up those XMLs can take a little while. But with these new improvements, at least on my end, with the setup I have right now, my cold loading time on my Windows PC has been cut by six seconds just from this new improvement. So you can definitely test it out if you want to. And keep in mind, I'm actually running my whole launch box setup from a mechanical drive. So if you are running from an SSD, there's a chance it could be much faster. Next for the new improvements, LaunchBox scrolling performance has been significantly increased. Whenever I start up my LaunchBox setup, I usually have it set to all games. I got a lot of stuff in here. And back in the day, scrolling through here was a bit of a pain. But with this new performance increase, uh, I definitely noticed a difference here. It does scroll through here a lot quicker and smoother. And finally, in the improvement section for 11.16, Big box wheels, cover flow, wall views, and the items in them will now load more quickly. There's been a lot of optimizations to the flow control system inside a big box, so we should get quicker loading times. Now this really pertains to those big box wheels, cover flow, and all the items in them. This really doesn't affect the text list views because those already load up pretty quickly. But when it comes to loading images, videos, and text in the flow control system, this will be much quicker with 11.16. Now it's time to move over to my favorite part about LaunchBox 11.16, and that's the new LaunchBox for Android. It's back with a bunch of new features, including wheels and banner box style platforms. We've also brought back the export to Android option inside of LaunchBox itself. I'll give you a look at that real quick because this does come in really handy. We will take a look at LaunchBox running on Android in just a second, but uh, when it comes to it, you can always import your stuff directly on the device. But with LaunchBox, if we head up to the drop down, we can go to tools, export to Android. And this just makes it super easy to export your games to formats and files that Android can read. Basically, once this is done, you can transfer it directly over to your Android device and it's ready to go for LaunchBox on Android. But like I mentioned, if you just want to import everything on your Android device, you can also do that. It'll download the box art and everything for you. This just happens to be kind of a streamlined way to do it. Since you've already got everything set up in LaunchBox on Windows, you might as well just transfer what you have there over to Android. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at LaunchBox on Android. So I've got it installed here on my Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. We're going to go ahead and start it up. This is fully compatible with controllers, or you could use the touchscreen. It's really up to you. For me, I personally like using a controller. As you can see, we have some banners here. This is just the stock look. We can change this, and we will take a look at that in a second. Let me go into... Let's do Super Nintendo. One thing you might notice is this is a lot different from the original version of LaunchBox on Android. We now have a beautiful wheel selection here. Got all of our box art, all of our artwork, and all of this can be imported and set up on your device, be it a tablet or a phone, or you can use the built-in Android export in the latest version of LaunchBox. Right off the bat, there are a couple more views. If we go up to the top right hand corner, these three little dots, we can change view. First one is banners, that's what we just took a look at. Basic text, I'm not a big fan of this, but it's there if you like it. Text list with details, again, lots of information here, but uh, I just kind of really love the look of those banners. Plus, from the main menu on our platform selection, wheel with details. So we have that wheel listed here. And Android is also listed. What this does is scan your device and just gets all your apps and games put in there. So you can use LaunchBox to start up basically anything on your phone or tablet. So we're going to head back down to Super Nintendo. We've taken a look at the wheel view. We can also change the views over here. Up in the top right hand corner, those three little dots. We're going to change view. Let's go with text list with details. And here's that. Just a quick look. We'll go back to change view. Box grid. And this is still downloading my artwork in the background. This is something I just imported recently. And we also have one more here, which is the basic text list. Personally, I'm a big fan of the wheel with details. 
And from platform selection, I either choose what we have here, the wheels, or banners. I think banners looks really good in the platform section. Now I want to give you an idea of how to import games directly on your device. So this is actually really easy to do, and just like the newer versions of LaunchBox, this downloads your media in the background. So initially, once you import it, it'll download the metadata, and then it'll start downloading all of that artwork in the background. Just makes the import process so much quicker. Top left hand corner, we have these three lines. We're going to import games. From here, very first one, folder of games to import. I'm going to go with my internal storage. I've got a couple in my download section, Sega Genesis. I'm going to use this folder and it automatically detected what platform I need to use, but you can choose it from here if you need to. Region to prioritize, combine ROMs, import games from subfolders, use folder names instead of ROMs, use main metadata, and this is for importing your arcade games, force import duplicate games, and proceed with import. I'm just going to proceed. It's going to parse everything for me. I'm going to proceed again. It's downloading the metadata. So that's done. We can actually head over to the Sega Genesis section right now. And as you can see, if we wait a second, it's going to start downloading all of that artwork for us. It'll start populating. So we'll get that clear logo banner and some box art. So it does this in the background and it does make it a lot quicker to import everything. And once everything's loaded up, we should get a really smooth scroll here. But yeah, I mean, it's really easy to import on your device. It's also very easy to use that Android exporter that's built into the newest versions of LaunchBox. I will have a couple tutorials coming up on the channel in the next few days, so definitely keep an eye out. I kind of want to cover everything from importing on the device itself, setting up your emulators, and exporting your stuff from LaunchBox. But in order to get this, you will have to sideload it. We're not going on Google Play right now. I'm not sure if there's any plans in the future or not. But there is a free version. You can do up to 100 games with the free version of LaunchBox on Android. But if you want to go with the premium version, it is $10. And if you did originally purchase LaunchBox on Android when it was on Google Play, email support and you'll get a free copy of this. The link to the official Android on LaunchBox website is in the description and I'll also leave a contact link down below. Remember, if you originally purchased it on Google Play, you can get the new version for free. So yeah, we're super excited about LaunchBox 11.16 and LaunchBox on Android. We really hope you are too. All links for everything mentioned in this video are in the description. Keep an eye out on the channel because I will have a couple tutorial videos coming up just showing you how to export everything, getting your emulator set up with Android. But until then, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.